Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, May 28th, I'm fairly certain. Uh, looks like it's going to be a nice day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. A little cloudy, but uh, getting up to 80 today. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, soon we'll be complaining about how hot it is. Isn't that something? So today it's, of course, um, the Sunday of the Memorial Day holiday. And I always like to just briefly, sometimes not so briefly, say that we got to keep in mind what Memorial Day is about. It's about the people that <clears throat> died so that we can enjoy the way of life we enjoy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Getting choked up. Um, people that have given their lives so that we can enjoy the way of life that we enjoy, so that we can have that barbecue or picnic tomorrow or whatever it is that we're doing. Uh, keep those folks in mind. And uh, the sacrifice that, that they, they were willing to give for us. And uh, we may come back to that theme as we go through this video. Uh, let me get a tamper. Sorry I didn't do this earlier. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I've got, uh, this is an old basket billiard. One of my favorite pipes. Um, I think it cost, I think I paid $12 for this or something ridiculous like that. Maybe 15 At a... JR Cigar. And I'm smoking some old Joe Krantz this morning. Bought a pound of that somewhat on a whim, and I've been uh, really enjoying it quite a bit. So, what I wanted to talk about today, for the most part, is the fact that I am about to leave on vacation. I have to, very soon, probably within the next hour or two, uh, get in a car with my wife and drive to Pittsburgh. We're going to be in Pittsburgh through Thursday morning. We're going to leave and drive back here in time to get our dogs out of the kennel. And then i got to go back to work on Friday. I'm also working on Tuesday remotely. So I'll, I'll be sitting in my sister-in-law's house in Pittsburgh uh, working on Tuesday uh, because i got some meetings that I couldn't move. But the rest of the week, I'm going to be hanging out with uh, my wife and her family, and uh, we're going to a concert, Bruce Hornsby, which she really wanted to see, and I'll go along. And yeah, so that's what this week's going to be. And you know what, guys? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still having a bad allergy uh, season this year. I would love to find an excuse not to go. I'm still at this moment, even though we're walking out the door shortly, I'm still trying to think of a way to get out of this. I don't want to... I'm just, I'm a creature of habit. I don't care if we're going to spend a week with the in-laws or we're going on a week-long vacation in Hawaii or Bermuda or I'm going on a, a week-long fishing trip in, in Montana. I don't care. I'm a creature of habit. I do not want to change my habits. I do not want to go. I just want to be left alone and in enjoy the things that I need to do, that I want to do, not fall behind on the things that need to be done. I just want to be left alone. They won't do it. This is the way life works. This is the way life works. And, you know, of course, I want my wife to be happy and she wants to do this. And so, of course, I'm going to do it. And, uh, unless I have a really brilliant idea, of course, I'm going to do it. And, you know, it, it's interesting. I was talking to a very good friend of mine. Not, not a pipe guy, but a good friend I've known most of my life. And, uh, He's become one of these bitter, you know, women are bad and society has changed women. They have all the power and hypergamy this and hypergamy that. And, you know, and there's this movement and you guys know about it, the, the Rolo, <clears throat> Rolo Tomasi stuff and, and all that. And, and I know some of you I've talked about this with and, and you, you know, believe it strongly and, and that, you know everybody's got their own their own spin on life but uh, for me personally I, th I think 
those guys are giving all the power to the other side as they see it. You know, they look at me going off on this vacation because it pleases my wife and makes her happy. And they say, oh, wow, you know, he's a, he's one of those guys that's uh, whipped for better, lack of a better term, or, uh, you know, a beta male or whatever. Come on, I, I, I want her to be happy and her being happy makes me happy. You know, it's, it's completely selfish that I'm going. Like I'm saying, oh, poor me, I gotta get, no, it's going to make her happy, and that makes me happy, and therefore I'll put up with some suffering, probably shouldn't have called it suffering, but yeah. I think those guys really have twisted things around to the point where they're handing the power over to the women, and I haven't thought through this enough, and by the way, I don't think that it should be a men versus women thing. Uh, but that's the language that they're using, and I'm just... Anyway, that's the subject for another day, I, but i, I got to think through that more. But I really think there's been a, a surrendering of power through that movement, rather than a uh, taking back power, which is what they think they're, they're doing. Me, I just think if you, if you find the right person, and if you love one another... None of this stuff is important. And the selfishness thing, that goes back to my objectivism days and my interest in uh, Ayn Rand's philosophy. And, you know, she, she gave the great example once of uh, you know, saying that, so she believed that only selfish acts were uh, virtuous. That if you did something that was selfless, you know, giving giving up yourself for someone else, it, it was uh, it was it was not a good thing. It lowered you because your own your own self worth is your only measure of value. And so somebody said to her, you know, well, what about heroic acts? You know, what what about the case where you know the the, the man and the woman are in in in, in the dark alley and the mugger is going to shoot. The wife and the man jumps in front of the bullet and gives his life to, to save his wife. And her response was, well, that's a completely self, selfish act. And you know, the reporter that was asking the question was shocked. And she said, well, of course it's selfish. He did it because he couldn't live without her. And if you really think about it, she's got the bigger burden to carry now. He's burdened her with, the, with his death. You know, so in a sense, it is a selfish act. Uh, now, of course, you could say that him not doing it was selfish, but maybe there's no non-selfish option. I don't know. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk about all this another day because I got to get ready to go and make my darling wife happy, and therefore, thereby, be happy myself. And this is the way life. So we're going to Pittsburgh. I'll be back Thursday. We'll do a live stream on Friday. In case you're curious what I'm taking with me. Got my pipe travel bag here. Well, of course. And I've been on this old Joe Kranz kick. And I didn't have another one of those little jars, so I, I repurposed the cobblestone the hiking tin. <laughs> Got the tin of old Joe Grants. Got my tobacco pouch, Peterson tobacco pouch. And then I've got my, I believe this is a Viking um, pipe pouch. It basically holds four pipes. And they are all either small billiards or Lavats. I've got my J. Mouton Lavat. My cane rod pipe zero. My uh, Talbert billiard. And the Demi Lovat. Cane rod pipes Demi Lovat. So, that's what I got. And uh, that'll get me through. And I'll also take the basket billiard with me. 
that's my traveling pipe. So that'll get me through the length of time I'm there. I will be able to smoke outside at my sister-in-law's house. She's got both a backyard deck and a front yard porch. So that'll be nice. Weather's supposed to be good. And the best part of this trip is on Tuesday, they're all going to leave me alone and I'm going to be able to sit out in the back and have my computer open and work and drink coffee and smoke a pipe. Not a bad day. Of course, it'll probably pour rain. <laughs> it'll be the one day it rains. Anyway, guys, I got to get moving. Got to, uh, got to go rouse the missus so that uh, we can get, get on the road. Think kindly of me. <laughs> Have a great week. And I'll be back on Friday night with the, uh, the live stream. Probably won't get scheduled till Friday. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody. It's not working again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm obviously a bit out of... Uh, out of practice this morning for some reason. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week. Oh, this is getting embarrassing. There we go. You know what? All right, well, but give it up.